Hey, guess what I made? I made a Tinder bot. Why did I make a Tinder bot? To replicate my actions on Tinder, which I have not used before making this video. And you may be asking, why don't you just make it say like on everyone? The answer is, I don't know. I had to overcomplicate this. A lot. So I had to make a script that would extract the images from potential Tinder matches, which is what I did. And I did it in a much more complicated way, so you can have this few seconds of footage on the left side of your screen. And that took me an extra like three hours or something, and if that doesn't justify a subscribe, I don't think anything does. I had to classify these manually to say if I would swipe right or swipe left. And um, that took a long time. That took like four hours. I had, t I only did 5,000 images. I say only as if that's a small amount. So now I had to somehow extract people from these images to use in a machine learning algorithm. Hi, David from the future here. I realized I explained that part poorly, so I'm doing it again. Let's take an example image on your screen right now. As you can see, there's a person in the image. Before giving these photos to the AI to train on, the image is cropped so it just shows the person in the image with as little background as possible. And then from here, it converts the image to grayscale, which helps speed up the learning. As with colored photos, there's three channels of data which represent red, blue, and green. However, with grayscale, there's just one channel, the brightness. If it was a colored photo, there'd be three times as much data the AI would have to sort through. I would have to give it more training data to be as accurate as I managed to get it. Then we give it to the artificial intelligence, which is going to try and decide for these photos and learn which of these photos we'd swipe left or right on and then give us that data for future results. The next part was actually training the machine learning algorithm, which is actually what I'm doing right now. However, it's very frustrating because I've been struggling to get over 70% on the validation set. Validation data is basically just how effective the algorithm is on matches that are not in the training data. So it has never seen before. Guess what just happened after I trained my model for like four hours? The answer is it didn't save properly. I feel like one of those right now. I'm a clown. Anyway, I'll pick this up tomorrow and I'll retrain this model and save it to a directory that exists and we'll see where it goes from there. It is a new day, I'm wearing a new shirt, and I still have not trained a model that has over 70% total validation. Look, over 70% validation score for a few select images. I did end up not having a model that had a sustained amount over 70% validation score however i kind of just gave up but it does hit it a few times look at the end of the graph of the training here you can see that it does hit over 70 a few times all while the accuracy of the testing data is around like 83 percent i'd say it's not as best as it could be however this could be for a variety of things me not having a specific type me being lazy and classifying the data incorrectly people putting pets in their tinder profiles just the data sucking in general people putting groups of people in their tinder profile so those are all reasons i think it could be messed up i think the data is just kind of yikes right now because it's not super great but it's still pretty good i'd say three out of like 75 percent 70 percent somewhere around their threshold i would get credit for it in college and that's all that really matters if you think about it hi after a few hours i was able to successfully make the bot actually like and dislike matches on tinder here's the first match done completely by the ai and that's pretty significant as <laughs> that means the project's working so here's a video of the ai in progress evaluating these matches you will see the score at the top which the specific match got the higher the score the more likely the ai believes that i would actually match with that profile and anything above 75 is what receives a like As you can see, the AI is fully working, and it's doing a pretty good job. I mean, it's not matching with every single person, which would just use up the free matches per day. And honestly, it's not too bad at rating what I would do. I'm pretty happy with this project. If I was going to do it again, I would get a better data set so I have more accuracy. If you enjoyed this project and you want to see more, subscribe or something.